Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Now, if you are wondering why my face is looking a little bit odd, it is because I have not got any bronzer, any contour on, because I thought that I would do a first impressions with you guys. So I have got the new, well, I don't know how new it is, but it's new to me. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Nude Gasm Palette. And I have been so excited to try this out. I bought it a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I think, I'm not sure when it come out. I feel like it come out pretty recently, but not like new as in like last week new. So anyway, that is what we're gonna be doing today. Um, the colors in there look amazing. I don't feel like this palette, I don't feel like it comes in different shades. So I don't feel like it comes in like fair to medium, medium to dark. I feel like it's a universal kind of palette for all skin tones, but I'm not too sure. I'll have to double check it, but I'm sure that when I went in to get it, I'm pretty sure they didn't have different like shades and stuff. But anyway, that is neither here nor there. We are gonna get straight into it. So I am gonna go in with the contour shade of the palette. Now I'm gonna use my Real Techniques stippling brush for this. Um, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I switch it up. Sometimes I quite like using this brush for contouring. And we're gonna go in with the contour shade in the palette, which is this shade right here. And I'm very curious to see how I get on with this. Um, because I feel like Charlotte Tilbury is very like soft glam. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like it's very glamorous, but it's very natural um, kind of makeup. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how we get on. I mean, that is going on really nicely. I feel like I'm not getting much Pigment. Like, I am getting a bit of pigment, but... Yeah, there we go. I feel like you have to dip your brush in twice. And you get a nice kind of payoff. But, that is actually a really nice contour shade. Like, I feel like it's not too grey and ashy. And it's not too warm. Like, it's like the perfect colour. I'm gonna do my forehead as well. Yeah, I feel like it's paying off really nicely, actually. I am having to go back and forth, um, like keep dipping in to the palette, but I feel like it actually builds up really nicely. So I am I'm really impressed because, I don't know, I didn't really know what to expect, but I kind of thought, I'm not going to lie, I kind of thought with this palette, the colours looked amazing, but just knowing that Charlotte Tilbury is more of the natural kind of look, I thought, oh, maybe you're not going to get like a a lot of payoff or like a strong contour. Not that I like a really strong contour, but I like a contour that you can notice. I'm just going to do my jawline and bring it down my neck ever so slightly. And then I'm going to put a little bit, nothing too crazy, just on the side of my nose. Guys, I am actually loving this contour shade. It goes on really nicely. I'm going to zoom in for you guys just so you can see. So that is what the contour shade is looking like. You can see it almost gives your skin like a flawless kind of finish. Um, I don't know if it's picking up on camera that well, but you can see it's just very subtle, like a really nice, subtle contour, but you can still see it. And I just feel like it doesn't matter how much product you put on, it just like blends effortlessly. Like it looks really, really nice. I can't lie, I'm loving this palette. I feel like it's definitely a 10 out of 10 so far on the contour shade. Now we're gonna move on to bronzer. And you all know I love a little bit of bronzer. So I'm just gonna go in with like a tapered bronzing brush and I'm just swirling my brush round in that nice bronze shade. This is giving a lot of um, like fallout in the pan. And I'm just going directly above where I applied that contour shade. And I feel like it is actually giving a really nice warm glow. Okay, I am not joking, this palette it's like making your skin look almost like airbrush. Like I feel like, I feel like I have a filter on my face right now, but I don't. Guys, so far, I highly recommend this palette. 
I mean, it's a bit pricey. It was £60, but then I think I got discount. Yeah, I did. I got discount on it. So I think I ended up paying like, I want to say like £40, maybe. But for the quality that I've seen so far, I know I'm only two shades in, but for the quality that I've seen so far, this is looking amazing. Like, I feel like I've got like a instagram filter on my face again i'm gonna zoom in for you guys just so you can see i mean look at that my skin it just looks like i've got a filter on my skin and i've got a really nice like bronzy glow but it doesn't look muddy if i don't know i feel like the formula of this is very strange like not strange but it's like very good in the sense it doesn't matter how much i'm putting on it's just like i don't know sinking into the skin like just blending out really nicely i feel like my skin looks like my skin but better almost i feel like that's the only way that i can explain it but just yeah it just goes on so nicely like i highly recommend the bronzer and the contour shade for me are definitely 10 out of 10 i highly recommend so now we're going to move on to a blush which is this shade right here and as you can see it's got a slight shimmer to it um which i quite like i quite like a brush brush i quite like a blush that has a little bit of a shimmer to it so just going in with just your standard blush brush and I'm just going to tap that onto the apples of my cheeks and then I do bring it out just a little bit and again I feel like what I'm finding with this palette is that you just have to kind of build the colours so when you first go in I feel like I'm not getting much payoff but as I keep going back and forth you can really see the colour coming through. And I don't need a lot. Like every time I'm going back and forth, I'm only literally tapping it. I'm not putting loads on my brush. But it's just giving a really nice kind of finish and payoff and pigment. And I really like this shade actually because it's got a bit of an orangey undertone. It's like orangey, like sun-kissed blush, which I love. I love more like peachy blushes, orangey corals. I'm not really a fan of like bright pink blushes to be honest with you definitely prefer more peachy undertones this is giving me like very nars orgasm vibes very mac margin vibes it's like yeah it's reminding me a lot of those two blushes which i absolutely love guys i'm obsessed with this palette it's amazing i don't know why i didn't use this sooner it's been sitting in my makeup collection and i kept meaning to use it and use it and then I thought, oh, let me try it today. And I thought, oh, I'll film my first impressions with you guys. And honestly, first impressions, 10 out of 10. Well, I say this now, I'll move on to the highlighter shade and be like, oh, I don't like it. But yeah, I mean, that blush looks really nice on and it gives a really nice kind of glow to the skin. Again, I'll zoom in for you guys just so you can have a look. So that is how the blush is looking. And like I said, it's just kind of melted into the skin and giving a really nice um, flush of colour without being too heavy and chalky like it's really nice like i'm loving this palette and i don't feel like it's picking up on camera but it does look really really nice on the skin so now we're going to move over to the highlighter shade which is this really lovely gold shade in the palette i feel like this is going to look really nice on the skin and i'm just going to go in with a fan brush and you actually get quite a lot on your brush with this and I'm just going to pop it anywhere that I would usually highlight. I'm not, um, I don't, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I like it, but it's a very, like it looks nice. It's giving me a nice glow, but I feel like it's more on the subtle side, which isn't bad. It's not a bad thing. Nothing wrong with a subtle highlight, but I feel like this would be more, I don't know. I feel like this would be more daytime. I don't know actually to be fair I feel like it's buildable the more I'm packing on the more buildable it's getting and I feel like that's a common theme in this palette all the shades in here are buildable so the more you pack on the more pigment you get and it does build up really really nicely so it's not like you're building you know that sometimes you build up products and then you feel like your face looks very muddy or it feels very heavy you definitely don't get that with this palette you get the pigment but it kind of, it doesn't go muddy, it, it blends out nicely and your skin does still feel very light. I'm just going to pop a bit on the bridge of my nose. Okay, so the highlight, I'm not going to lie, I feel a bit underwhelmed. But I don't know if that's because I love all of the other shades in the palette. 
I feel like it's just not that strong of a highlight. I'll zoom in so you guys can see. So that is how this skin is looking. As you can see, like, you can see that I've got a highlight here and it's kind of blended really nicely into the skin, but it's not like in your face. It's definitely a more, like I said, bridal or subtle kind of highlight. And um, you can also see my contour and the blush. I feel like the camera isn't doing it justice. Um, because the contour, the bronzer and the blush shades look amazing. And so does the highlight shade. It's just not um, a very bright highlight. So yeah, this is how the skin is looking. As I said, I feel like this palette is very buildable and it melts into the skin. It makes your skin look absolutely flawless. Like I feel like I have a 